Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh slammed Pakistan in Jammu and Kashmir J and K opposition parties during a public rally in Jammu. He accused Pakistan of seeking a bailout from the International Monetary Fund IMF while India has given more to J and K under the Prime Minister's package PM package. He also questioned the intentions of J and K opposition parties, including the National Conference and C in Congress, alleging that they are working as Pakistan's proxy. Pakistan is requesting the IMF for a US$7 billion United States dollars bailout package. They could have asked India. PM Modi has given more than this in the PF package for J&K. They're in this condition because they domesticated snakes, said Rajna Singh. I want to ask and see in Congress if they are working as Pakistan's proxy. The Defense Minister of Pakistan has said that Article 370 can only be restored by NC in Congress. He added. We have done whatever we promised in the BJP election manifesto. We spoke about the abrogation of Article 370, and we did it as soon as we got the majority in the center. I feel pained by what Omar Abdullah said and did. He said that he won't fight in elections till the JNK restores statehood, but now he is fighting from the constituencies. Parties like the PDP, NC, and Congress claim that they will give statehood to JNK. How will they? They do not have government in the center. Without that, it is not possible. Politics should not be done to win in elections. It must be done to build a country, said Rajna Singh. It is not just me speaking that PM Modi has himself assured on J&K statehood restoration. 61% of voting has been recorded in J&K in the first phase of assembly elections, and it happened because of the abrogation of Article 370, he added. J&K assembly elections. Jammu and Kashmir is voting for its 90-member assembly in three phases. The first phase of voting took place on September 18th, with the voter turnout of 61.13 PC. Voting for the second and third phases in JK will be held on September 25th and October 1st, respectively. Votes will be counted on October 8th. Jammu and Kashmir is witnessing an interesting contest with several political parties and independents in the fray. The National Congress Party and CP in Congress have forged a pre-poll alliance in the end. Stay tuned for more updates.